Hello, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage, and welcome to another lesson in my Balloon Twisting Food Series. Today I'll be teaching you three easy balloon food models based on edible items with some aesthetic personality. The meaty turkey leg, the half-peeled banana, and the classic hot dog with mustard. These designs are a cakewalk, so let's jump right into it. Let's begin with the turkey leg. Inflate a 5-inch mocha brown, uh, pretty much all the way, and tie it. Inflate a white 260 about halfway. You're going to tie that directly nozzle to nozzle. You want it very tight. Right here. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to create the bone. So uh, about four fingers, maybe four and a half. You can do it any way you want. But the easiest way is two little pedal clips. And uh, if you want, two little stabilization pinch tools. You can put it in the center or on the side. Inflate a 160 halfway, and you're going to push back, make sure the air's up in the front. You're going to make a pinch twist about that side. This is going to be tucked into the back. So, wrap it around, create a ring, tie it on, and stick that pinch twist into the back. Perfect. Just get rid of that extra. Tie it in. Tie it somewhere in the back. As long as you flip it around, You've got your turkey leg. On to the banana. Now the only tricky part about this design is you need to make sure that the peel is very malleable. You want to be able to bend it, you want it soft. I'll show you how to do that. So let's jump over here. Begin by creating the bottom, the unpeeled portion of the banana. Let's say about this size. Now shaping it is important. You want to push from the bottom, bend it, and make sure that this portion is more in place. So push back, push back. And you can get it to cooperate. Now onto the pinch twist. Two of them in fact. One and two. Kind of flat I guess. Onto the peel. This is up to you, but you do want to make sure and stretched out. There's one part of the peel. Twist it through. The two twists are actually going to be like lips at the top, not one on either side or in the center. Match it up. Tie it off. Twist it through. Pop it off. <laughs> Cut a portion of your white 260 off, about like that. Inflate it, tie it, and then tie it directly into that peel. Very flush against these pinch twists. And of course, shape this. The same way you did, only reverse, so this would be thinner, this would be thicker. And there you go, a half-peeled, delicious-looking banana. Now there are a lot of hot dog designs out there, but honestly, I never really learned one, so I made one up for this tutorial, and here it is. We're going to start off with a blush 350. I prefer 350 over 360. Let's toss this to the side. And begin with, I'd say, maybe a 10-finger cylinder twist. We're going to come back around, match that up. And dry it off. I would knot it. Okay. Now we're going to come under here, make a nice, malleable, smaller cylinder twist. And I guess bird body it. Stick it in. Take off this extra. And you can either tie it, or if it's long enough, you can just tie it back in. Inflate that red 260, and I would say maybe 13, 14 for the hot dog. And if you want to make it a little plumper, push it back. There it is. Tie it, off. Tie it off. It's ready to go into that bun. Got my two 260s tied together here for the mustard. You're going to want to snip the ends off of that and off of your hot dog as well. 
entire yellow one inflated 260 to one end of the hot dog bun. One will not there will do it. Well, we've done this once, so it can't be some slack. Hold on. <laughs> and uh, I'll double knot it. You're going to put the hot dog in, kind of tuck it into the bun a bit. And I'm just going to wrap around maybe four times, maybe two. Just depends on what you can do. Once you've done that, you stick it in. You're going to tie it in on this side, okay? Your finished hot dog should look like this with the four little squirts of mustard tucked in there and tied in on either side. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I know it was a fast one. I'm experimenting with trying to get more information in a quicker amount of time. Hope you liked it, and uh, I'm glad to be doing the balloon twisting food series again. This one's a lot of fun. Please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.